Hey, I'm David A. Dean, and uh, I've got a bone to pick with the United States of America, okay? In one of my earlier video logs, I talked about how I was blown away that Kohl's would give Daisy Fuentes her own clothing line. Because Daisy Fuentes hasn't been relevant since like 1992. Now, I'm not against Daisy Fuentes the person. I'm not even against Daisy Fuentes the MTV VJ from the 90s. What I'm positing is, what has Daisy Fuentes done since 1992-93 to warrant being on a clothing line? Like, it's not like she has a reality show. I, I don't think she's doing promotional tours or things like that. I mean, it'd be the equivalent of giving Polly Shore an endorsement deal. Uh, so anyway, so I was dumbfounded and gobsmacked by that. And then what should happen? My wife hands me the brand new issue of Guidepost magazine. And who's on the cover? Daisy Fuentes. Yes, Daisy Fuentes is on the cover of Guidepost's magazine. Daisy Fuentes. This is not possible. Why does she get to be in Guidepost magazine? I have about as much influence my, my, uh, as Daisy Fuentes. Why does she get a clothing line? Why is she interviewed on Guidepost magazine? Daisy Fuentes, everyone. Ah! That sort of looked like the earthquake. Nah, never mind. But anyway, so let's talk about this. Daisy Fuentes. Like, Will you buy Daisy Fuentes clothing? Will you read this exclusive interview with Daisy Fuentes in Guy Post magazine? I'm not going to. Not that I'm against Daisy Fuentes the human being. I'm just wondering why people are still listening to Daisy Fuentes and why all of a sudden there's Daisy Fuentes mania. Daisy Fuentes, I'm coming after you.